This morning is the perfect time to look at the relationship between Litecoin, LTC, Bitcoin, BTC, and LTCN, the Grayscale Litecoin Trust. Why is it important to look at it? Because today we have a 4% move from Bitcoin, a 3% move on Litecoin, LTC, and the market, the stock market has not opened. So we will see what's the impact on LTCN today. Which of those two assets, Bitcoin or Litecoin, influence more LTCN in its price action? So let's dive in. It's going to be quick, simple, very easy to follow. We're going to look at daily charts and weekly charts very quickly. So we start with Litecoin, LTC, who's on an uptrend, MA50 going up, MA200 going up. The coin is up 3.2% this morning. We're at a resistance of $104, $105, but we're bullish. We're trying to break that level. If we break that level, we're going to $120. Fairly easy to follow. As Bitcoin is moving, Litecoin is also moving. So Bitcoin is up 4%, Litecoin is up 3%. So almost following percent to percent. This is part of the weekly chart for Litecoin. Like I indicated, it wants to go beyond 105 and next target is 110 and then 120 for resistance levels. We have seen an increase in volume recently that explained this push towards the resistance levels. That's pretty much it for Litecoin. Let's have a look at Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, this is the daily chart, up 4.2%. We're almost at $72,300. So we're charging towards the top here. That is $73,770. This is the latest all-time high. As you can see here, this is the first upper trend line. And now we can make another one who's steeper. We're going quicker and faster towards to the right. MA50 is following extremely well. MA200 also up to the right. So the momentum for Bitcoin is bullish. Momentum of the MA50 is bullish. Momentum of the MA200 is bullish. Like I indicated in many of my videos, MA200 has pretty much always been up for Bitcoin and it's very difficult to change. All this price action that you see here on the chart is all pretty much bullish. Very few sections have been going down. Therefore, for the next at least 50, 100, 200 days, we are going up to the right. And that pushes all the momentum up. Therefore, higher prices. We have the halving coming. There's all kinds of events. Supply crunch. A lot of people are... FOMOing, everybody's panicking because they, they don't want to miss the move. It's already started. So everything is moving up to the right. And Bitcoin, like it does in all bull markets, pulls all assets up, including LTC, as we just saw. This is the weekly chart for Bitcoin. We are in an uptrend. This is the initial trend line. Now we're going steeper, higher, faster, everything extremely bullish. We're near the all-time high. The next target is $80,000. Fairly simple. This is the daily chart for the Grayscale Litecoin Trust. As you see here, we have changed slopes on these trend lines since October of 2023. Well, technically, more January 2024 when we have our second point here. So we have this trend line, that's initial price action up to the right. The second one steeper, then we broke this resistance, a steeper slope following this pump here. And now we're getting close to vertical with this trend line. All of that while the ME50 and the ME200 we're going up to the right in a positive slope. Now the ME50 has accelerated, as you can see it. The ME200 is 
gonna take a while to get influence, but again, you see it here in LTCN, when it turns positive up to the right, it has not changed in a very long time. Therefore, the momentum is up and to the right. And my guess is going, we're going to stay here for a while. So how big of a pump are we going to see this morning at 9.30, 9.45 when it starts trading? I don't know, but I'm expecting a big push this morning. That's what we want to see. What type of relationship in percentages are we looking at? Then we can start modeling and looking at when LTCN does this amount of percentages in combination with percentages of Bitcoin, how LTCN, the Grayscale Litecoin Trust, reacts. That's what you need to look into it. That's what I'm looking into to follow the relationship and try to establish some kind of link between the three. Finally, this is the weekly chart of the Grayscale Litecoin Trust. The movement that we were describing is right here and our targets are somewhere here or higher. If we repeat what happened in 2021, 2020, 2021, volumes have been extremely impressive recently. So let's see how LTCN does. But in my opinion, this thing is going higher and it's repeating what it did in 2021. How impressive those returns will be in 2023 and 2025 it's up to us to see but i hope a few of you have a position in this asset it could be quite explosive it's still risky no question about it but history does not necessarily repeat but it rhymes and we will see in this bull run how ltcn will react so i hope you enjoyed this overview of litecoin bitcoin and LTCN. Keep following it. Keep learning how it works. It could be an amazing trade. Have a nice day. See you all on the next one.